In the global race for aerospace self-reliance, fighter jets often grab the spotlight, but what truly powers air dominance is the engine hidden within. For decades, India's efforts to build a world-class jet engine have faced delays and challenges. Now, the GTRE, a key laboratory under the DRDO, is charting a bold new course. According to sources, GTRE has submitted a proposal to the Ministry of Defense to use two Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighters as flying test beds for indigenous engine certification. A move that could fast-track the long-stalled Kaveri engine program and reshape India's aerospace future. The plan is simple yet ambitious repurpose frontline Su-30 MKI fighters, India's most powerful multi-role aircraft, into advanced flying laboratories. Outfitted with extra instrumentation, these aircraft would gather real-time performance, data on indigenous engine components, under true combat-like conditions. For India, this means bridging the gap between slow, ground testing, and the operational reality its future fighters will face. It also aligns with the Atmanurbar Bard initiative, strengthening India's push toward defense self-reliance. Today, the focus is on a dry variant producing 49 to 51 kN thrust intended for UAV like the Guduk stealth drone. With afterburner integration, thrust could rise to 73 to 75 kN, making it viable for manned aircraft. Ground and high-altitude tests have already been cleared, and flight certification is the next frontier, precisely where the Su-30 MKI FTB proposal fits in. Mapping critical parameters, indigenous components would be compared against OEM benchmarks for thrust, efficiency, heat tolerance, and structural integrity during flight. Failure mode analysis, identifying and addressing vulnerabilities, early to ensure reliability and safety. Component level validation, limited testing of subsystems to refine processes without full engine risk. Accelerated mission testing, a phased staircase approach to gradually certify components with increasing life clearances. Faster certification timeline, real-world data from Su-30 MKI could cut development time by years, creating a robust foundation for eventual AMCA and Tejas MK-2 integration. The Su-30 MKI is the workhorse of the IAF with over 260 units in service. Its twin-engine configuration, large airframe, and operational flexibility make it ideal as a flying test platform. Testing Kaveri modules on such a proven fighter ensures safety. While exposing the engine to high altitude, supersonic conditions impossible to replicate on the ground. For context, the Russian AL-31 FP engines that currently power the Su-30 generate 123 kN thrust with afterburner, placing the Kaveri within the right thrust class for compatibility and future upgrades. Opportunities and challenges. Accelerated certification, potentially flight ready by 2027 to 28, years earlier than current projections. Cost efficiency uses existing IEF assets instead of building new test aircraft. Strategic payoff opens the door to indigenous power plants for Tejas MK-2, AMCA, Guduk UCAV, and even a future Super Sukhoi upgrade. Funding gap. Estimated rupees 5,000 to 10,000 crore more is required on top of ongoing maintenance budgets. IAF priorities. The Air Force has focused heavily on Su-30 upgrades and imported engines. Its willingness to allocate aircraft for testing remains uncertain. If cleared, the Su-30 MKI-FTB plan 
could cut certification timelines by a third and breathe new life into the Kaveri program. With sustained funding, global collaborations, notably Saffron of France, and political will, the project could finally position India among the select nations capable of designing and certifying advanced jet engines. For India's aerospace ambitions, the stakes are clear. Without indigenous engines, true fighter jet self-reliance remains out of reach. By turning its frontline fighters into test platforms, GTRE may have found the fast track to solving one of India's biggest defense technology gaps. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about SU-30 MKI fighter in the comment section.